What if the world ended, but the rent was still due? What if the apocalypse wasn't distributed equally? What if your debt dies with you? Red Markets, an economic horror tabletop role-playing game. Your survivors called takers in the zombie hellscape known as the loss. Your goal? Take jobs, make a lot of bounty, and bribe your way over the fence to the safer regions known as the recession. Red Markets is currently on Kickstarter. Please consider checking it out and backing it. Red Markets by Hebanon Games. Slenderman, Slenderman, all the children try to run. Slenderman, Slenderman, to him it's part of the fun. Slenderman, Slenderman, dressed in darkest suit and tie. Slenderman, Slenderman, you most certainly will die. Oh, hello, and welcome to El Dente Rigamortis. I'm Review Cultist. And I'm Dr. Leviathan. Hey, where's Mikey, the East Dance for Evil? Um, honestly, I, I, I was surprised when he didn't show up with you because, um, like, I mean, I got some texts from him, but none of them said they, he wasn't coming. He was just like, you know, I don't know, he was going through some old home movies or something, and he's just like, he's always watching. He's always there. Always. Hmm. And I mean, like, obviously I'm adding that emphasis myself, but, you know, because it was texts. But, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, d- <sighs> all right. I don't know. Well, I'm sure he'll show up again. Let's face it, I'm not worried about him. The E stands for evil, not everybody's bitch. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, and yes, and we're here to discuss those internet stories, most creepy, most pasta, and for Slender Month 2016, most slender. And most man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fight the urge to say, I'm a man. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Linkara. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so for this week, we're going to be doing Follow the Leader and just make sure I got the spelling here Gutter Demerung. Um, you know what? That's probably better than I would have fucking done. Um, I mean, however, tra- apologies to any German speaking <laughs> fans. Yes. We do p- apologize. We are but simple Canadians. We are unilingual unilanguage. <laughs> well, we we speak one language. <laughs> yes. Amongst us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are not bilingual despite our Canadian tropes. <laughs> um, fo- yeah, so we'll start off with Follow the Leader. Um, it's on creepos.wiki by... It's just on creepos.wiki. <laughs> it does, no, I checked. It doesn't have one. Oh, okay. I looked up. Um, it's, there's, uh, there's, two re- uh, there's two really good readings of it that I uh, found on YouTube called Master, uh, Master Creep Theater um, and Mr. Creep Pasta. Master Creep Theater I like is, that name is a... actually really good. Like He's got a really like, good timber to his voice. So like when he's reading the stories... Um, he's t- he, he has this really good performance to it, so I'd actually recommend going checking out this reading of it because it actually made this better, um, which is a little bit of a, a easy, feat. <laughs> easy thing to do, yeah. Because it starts so low, yeah. Um, and so yeah, we'll dive right into this one. So this kid named Chris um, likes to make friends, and one day some kids are coming by his house uh, or by his porch while he's sitting on it. And he asks if he can join, and they, of course, say yes. And they're going to play Follow the Leader, Chris's favorite game. So they they play this game all the way to the woods and into the woods. And Chris thinks this is kind of like, was like oh, well, uh, are we still doing this? And I was like, yeah, Follow the Leader. And they go out into the woods, and he, he thinks he sees some things in the woods, like uh, a tall man in the, among the trees. Uh, but he ignores it, just keeps playing. Well, it, it's not a tall man among right, the it's... trees, it's a tall man made of trees. Yeah, you know, okay, yeah, it's, yeah. <clears throat> or at least that was the image that you got got painted in my head. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, he, they really, they I think they mentioned, like, branch-like arms. Yeah. Um, and so they get out of the woods shortly after uh, to a playground, and the kids go into the shade of an oak tree nearby, while Chris just goes right, for, like, beelines for the slide. Because, um, motherfucking slide. Yeah. If there's no line, hells yeah, you beeline it. Exactly. Um, and... Kids once? Well, he's go. <laughs> Well, he w- hard to believe. I know, but yeah. while he walks up uh, the ladder to the slide, uh, a park employee takes a photo of him uh, with a Polaroid, then stamps um, stamps a um, 
a seal on it, like a and and hands it to him. Um, and as he's looking at the photo, it's like, oh no, that small tree under the oak tree is Slenderman, um, or is like a tall figure and like not a person, um, or not a not a tree. Uh, and he looks over, and the kids are gone. Uh, kids and the um, the tall figure are gone from underneath the oak tree. And then Chris like is backing up, and he trips on a branch that fell down uh, near the slides. But then he realizes, wait, there's no tree near the slides, and looks up, and there's Slender Man just above him. And then it grabs him, and we cut away to um, his mom looking for him later, searching for Chris. And when she goes to the park, she finds the photo. Dun dun dun. Um, yeah. So that it's, these ones are two short pastas, by the way. Um, so thoughts for this one. This was just kind of a poor attempt to give um, the photo of the kids meeting Slenderman in the park a story. And the photo itself, because it's accompanying the um, the story on creepbus.wiki, is actually one of the first photos that was ever made for, of Slenderman. Uh, back like when the, uh, the weird paranormal photo contest happened that started it all. Um, and so... I don't know, it just, like, I was reading this, and it felt kind of flimsy, like, in terms of story. It's very, like, simple read it, writing. Um, I guess maybe you could attribute it to being, like, oh, well, it's, like, how a kid would write a story kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah, no, the it's kid's not, missing. No excuse. He didn't yeah. write the story. Exactly, yeah. Um, and it kind of felt a little forced in a way, like, getting the, photogra- the photograph integrated into the story. Like, what the hell is a park employee doing taking pictures of kids <laughs> and giving them photos? Yeah, this this was never a thing when I was No, it was not for me either. So, um, I just, like, that kind of, like, really, like, I, I like the description of, like, him going, them going through the woods. is like, whoa, like, what, what's that thing? It's made of tree, like, it's this man, but it's made of, like, in the trees and stuff. Yeah. Like, that was cool. But, like, as soon as they go to, like, he go he beelines for the the, tr- uh, the slide. It doesn't matter, I care that the kids have all just, all gone to the, underneath the oak tree um, yeah, to sit down. It really just seems like a rush to get the st- Chris onto the slide. Yeah, so and... that he can get a photo done by what, I mean, like, it just, yeah, like, that really kind of, like, that's actually kind of a creepy thing to me, like, the whole, like, the photo, the photographer. Like, what's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> um... But uh, the description but then again, maybe he's working with Slenderman. Maybe oh, he's man. one of his proxy uh, motherfuckers. Right? Yeah, he could be. Um, you know, yeah. to leave that evidence behind. To you know, yeah, because he does kind of just like just spread off. the fear, <laughs> and spread the fear. Yeah, um, yeah, because he just like hands him to him. Because I mean, Slenderman like, doesn't need that picture taken, but at the same time, he kind of does because he needs that fear to go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I, I, I am. I'm talking so much ass talk yeah. right there. Um, like, I mean, maybe that's a good explanation, but this story doesn't really have it as a good explanation. Yeah. Um, honestly, it was just kind of jarring. The like, or like, out of place to me. And then, like, again, he just kind of smoke bombs away. Well, Man, and just... also we've got the the fact that this picture is not a Polaroid. Mm-hmm. It's not in the shape of a Polaroid. Exactly. It's uh, a normal kind of photo. It's, it's a normal photo on its side. Yeah. Like it, that angle so, where it's tall as opposed to wide. Whereas Polaroids are square and have that white rim around them. Like well, they, there's could, an iconic. I could deal with the, without the white rim, but mm. it's it's not the square shape that we're used to, or at least the more square shape. I don't know the actual dimensions of a Polaroid, but yeah. this is so very much not a Polaroid. Um, and if it had been used and said it was a Polaroid, um, which, I mean, like, with the writing involved in this thing, this picture should have been cropped. Yeah. But, I mean, the writing was kind of, like, just quick, get it done, yeah, without it, it any like... thought into it, so I don't really expect them to crop <laughs> like a, a po- photo uh, yeah. so that it fits Polaroid dimensions. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm normally not, like too judgmental or mean about on the show but to me if, when i was reading it, it felt like a mix between like a synopsis of an actual story and see spot run run spot run <laughs> like it was that kind of writing like it felt yeah. very, there was not a lot of big words and not a lot of um but like also some words that like were a little too like not should not have been there because they were a little too like simple like oh man he was super tall this is like <laughs> yeah super tall that was actually one that stuck out for me when i read this yeah uh, a couple of days ago because i was like <laughs> Wait, did I just read that? I actually... <laughs> oh, you, you think that's Backed that? up. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yep, super tall. This this writing is, 
like I speak. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's not oh. cool. Uh, yeah, no, I was actually, I, I, I said, like, actually, like I, like I said earlier, um, Master Creep Theater does a really good reading of this that actually like makes it enjoyable for like the four, four to six minutes that he does it. But also, like, it's kind, of, it was kind of funny to hear like this guy with a really like low timber, like talking, like reading this thing, and then he's like, "That man was super tall." Like that he man kind of, was super tall. tall. Exactly, it's like that. Exactly like that. I was like. <laughs> There goes a little bit of the the, the dread of this story, <laughs> what what it tried to do, anyways. Um, description of Slenderman again, um, at a glance, uh, being a tree or like having branches like branch like limbs, um, is a neat idea, but not a lot of meat to it. Like it, it's it's not much like this entire story. There's just not a lot here. Yeah, um, is what I'm kind of feeling. It's not that there's no meat to the idea. It's that there's no meat done with the idea. Yeah. Um, like, aside from the kid tripping over a branch, yeah. um, or a root, or whatever it was, um, there's not really any... They're not doing anything with the the imagery that that paints. Yeah. And... It could have been so much more. <laughs> also, the fact that in this accompanying image, Slender Man doesn't look like a tree at all. He, yeah, exactly. He looks like he's got tentacle arms. Yeah. The, this this image of Slender Man that we have would have fit much better with last week's episode. Yeah, because where he's, he's tentacles. shooting tentacles at it, the guy. Yeah, um, yeah, it's just yeah, not a very short pasta, and it suffers from micro pasta issues. Yeah, whereas it's um, just kind of skimmed. Yeah, this could have been like it actually could have been a really good idea. Like the idea, the pl- the basic plot of this is solid at least, but like there's just not enough here to yeah to want and the, and the writing doesn't really kind of help it any better because it tries to make it I don't it just that simplicity of it yeah I'm not almost even, childlike writing yeah which, which I mean could be like who wrote it but because I mean, it could be a 14 year old writing this but yeah or younger even yeah um I mean Slenderman's just he's out there yeah but yeah it's it, it's. It's amateurish, and it's full mm-hmm. of amateurish and lazy mistakes. Yeah, pretty much. That That's where I come with it, is that, you know, it, it hits me as lazy more than anything. Yeah. Because that's one of my triggers. I hate lazy writing. I hate and- lazy writing, lazy filmmaking, lazy whatever. Um, so, when yeah. I think I could call it lazy, I usually do. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I'm honestly with you on that one on this one. Like, reading it, it was not really... Again, the reading of me actually physically reading the story, um, and then going to uh, the the, reco- the the reading of it on YouTube, they they put, like, a lot more effort in the reading to make it enjoyable um, than me actually having to read this. And I was like, oh, this isn't really... Uh. <laughs> and then, oh, it's over, okay. Well, that was the thing. <laughs> yeah, I when I got to the picture, I totally thought there was going to be more words after the picture. And then you just hit the comments. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, well then, that's a cool picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, so that's all I think, that's all I have for that one. Yeah, I don't really have anything either. I mean, we've... <laughs> I could go so, on to say, like... like it's so small, it yeah. doesn't really merit, or it doesn't really lend itself to having a lot said about it. Yeah, so we'll move right along to... Uh, Go to Demerung. Again, I apologize to our German listeners. <laughs> You're still doing a way better job of pronunciation than I would have. I'm guaranteeing that. <clears throat> well, I Pardon did me. recently watch, or play through Wolfenstein. <laughs> Again. Because <laughs> um, I'm sure that's super accurate. <laughs> uh, so, Go to Demerung is um, on creepbus.wiki as well. This one actually has an author, um, Heavens to Kadunka. Or Heavens to Kadunka. Kadunk Kadunk? <laughs> That's what I thought it was too, but I first heard. Um, now, here's something quickly before we start, the sh- before we start this. Um, Heavens to Kadunka. Uh, when you click on that on creephouse.wiki, I thought, like, I wanted to know a little bit more about this author after I finished reading it. But his link goes straight to permutedpress.com, which is a, like, anthology or, like, a, like a publisher, like a press publisher that does, like, independent writing and, like, novels and stuff. So I'm not, sh- uh, but I, otherwise I can't. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about um, our author here. So we'll get we'll get into the st- into the story first, and then I'll explain why that kind of meant something to me. Um, so you can also check it out by the Haunted Pasta uh, or Mr. Creepypasta on YouTube. Um, 
And we'll dive right in. So, Berlin, Germany, 1830, 1945. Uh, Adolf Hitler. 1830, 1945? April April 30th. Did I say, okay, I thought I said April. Okay, sorry. Did I say 1830? I might have heard 18. Okay, April 30th, 1945. Um, Adolf Hitler waits for and contemplates the end as his wife lies dead beside him. Uh, Amidst this, he becomes aware of a tall, slender, and faceless entity in the corner of the room. This is preceded and followed by uh, the occasional jolt of strange memories concerning children with uh, black pits for eyes. Um, They have a conversation pertaining to the fall of Germany and his Reich. Um, Just as it seems like uh, like the conversation's done, um, Der Grossmann, um, or the uh, Slender Man's German name, which is the big man um, in the mythos, uh, takes away his gun and cyanide pill, stating that he and his master deem Hitler the next messiah. And then it ends. So that was a super friggin' rundown of uh, the story, because most of it's just conversation between Hitler and de Grossman. Um, so my thoughts was, I actually really didn't mind the writing in this one. Um, I thought it was well described for the mood and the scenery that was being presented. Um didn't know what to expect when when it started because I wasn't expecting I actually wasn't expecting it to be about Hitler being the protagonist, <laughs> but I was like, you know what, I'm on this ride. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, that definitely um, just fucking blam. I was like, <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> yeah, is Slenderman gonna take out Hitler? Because I can I can kind of deal with that. Uh, I well, don't yeah. know who I'm supposed to root for in this situation. <laughs> right? Yeah, like um, when I actually when I started writing, I thought like he, like is Slenderman like the stand-in for like the Grim Reaper? Like he's waiting because he's always been like because in the in the conversation he says that he's always been by his side and that this was all predetermined. Like his he, it was always destined to fall, kind of stuff. But the fact that he can see him changes things. The fact that Hitler like, saw can see Slenderman changes everything, and that's why he apparently became the Messiah for Slenderman and his master. Um, yeah, um, the end feels like there, like there's more behind the story. Like it, it kind of like ends with, uh, like literally just ends with like Slenderman deeming Hitler the Messiah, and then it's like, so we're we just about to jump into a uh, alternate well, history. And also, story? both to myself and my master. Yeah. Now, I am not so heavily engrossed in the Slender lore that I'm like, oh, so Slenderman is like Pinhead, and he has his own Leviathan. Oh. Well, now I'm digging Slender Man more, because he's more like Pinhead. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I don't know if there's... I actually don't know, personally, if there's a lot of that in the mythos. I was just basing... Like, um, based off the comments of this one, where people were speculating, is that Slender Man is just a servitor for Satan. Why does it always have to be Satan? I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what people... And that, that the, by the Messiah, they mean, like, that Hitler is the Antichrist. So, that kind of thing. But, yeah, like, I don't know. I, maybe I'll have to look... I'll actually have to, like, do a little bit more work than I usually do. Um, to see if maybe the mythos does have stuff with that. I know that there is, again, like, for some reason, Slenderman has a lot of, like, connections to the Black Forest and Germany as a whole. Um, and I think it also stems from, there's a, a woodcut, an actual woodcut, um, of, like, a Slenderman looking, like, a faceless knight, um, that's with, like, extended arm, like, really extended arms, like, stabbing a knight, another knight. Um, and it's supposed to be in, like, death or something like that. So maybe that's where it stems from, but regardless... Yeah, it, it kind of like this story kind of like poses a, a bunch of questions that like should probably be an- that kind of, you kind of want to be answered in a longer story. Yeah, I was gonna say it seems like this is like the precursor to some other story that has a lot more words. Like I yeah I like again and this is why I mentioned about uh, like the the link that goes to Permuted Press. I went to their website. It's yeah, they've got like hundreds upon thousands of pieces of of like fiction that people have written like by different authors. I could not find anybody on their site that was named Heavens to Kadanka. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> but um so I wonder if this is in fact like an excerpt of a, of a book that the actual person behind that name did and that this is just kind of like the um the preface or the uh prologue to that story. But again, it, like without any, for, without, I could like I did like a, a I spent about like a half hour browsing through their site trying to see if I could find any connections and I couldn't. So maybe I just wasn't looking even hard enough. But uh, yes, yeah, Slenderman, servant of Lucifer, according to the comments. Um, yeah, Goter Demerong is German for Twilight of the Gods. So 
cool. Film. That's another thing I liked actually about the uh, the bottom of this one. Uh, like when you're finished reading, like he mentions a bunch of uh, like German words, and then they actually go in and put in those like what they mean and stuff, which I actually appreciated. Yeah, because otherwise I didn't have to you know go Google it. <laughs> like they actually like had those like annotation numbers on certain words. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, as a short story, like or a micropasta, I did enjoy the read um, and the twist at the end. Like I was not expecting Hitler to actually not be killed by the Slender Man or like have the Slender Man be a uh, like a Grim Reaper figure, having to be the harbinger of the Antichrist. <laughs> um, so it was an interesting ending, um, but it kind of leaves me wanting. Yeah. So yeah, it's not the it's not a great well. It is great, be- well, maybe great is a little too strong of a word, but it is a good ending because it does leave you wanting more, but, yeah, it's kind of tedious that yeah. there isn't more. Yeah, like, it feels like, I mean, again, like, also based off, like, that link that you go to uh, from the author's name, it kind of feels like this is just an ad on Wiki to go to to find the other, the full book, but then good luck trying to find the, the actual book on their yeah. site. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think they're... Yeah. It was just, like, again, the writing was really good. Like, I actually enjoyed the read of this one. Yeah, it was a solid read. Um, it was actually a nice little contrast compared to, because I read Fall of the Leader and then I read this one. And I was like, ah. I read this one and then I read Fall of the Leader, so that I'm, was... I'm sorry. It was <laughs> jarring. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it... I don't know, it... I just... I never... I'm never happy when people, you know, jump and use Hitler as a main character or yeah. Um honestly for the most part I'm just um it's, it's so much World War 1 and World War 2 throughout, you know, public school and high yeah. school that I'm just kind of like okay, I don't I, I just I, whenever that's a setting, I'm just I'm out you just, it's one of your things that I, you don't care for. I switch out. Yeah, I yeah. switch off, and I'm just... I, I I can't. I can't be bothered. I, you know, I've never made it all the way through Saving Private Ryan. I just... I don't enjoy it. Unless it, you're in Wolfenstein, killing the... <laughs> killing the robot dogs. <laughs> yeah, like... But that... Well, that's a video game. That's yeah. a different story. Um, but, yeah, when it comes to... You know, reading and or watching it, like reading a story or watching a movie or anything. I just I I switch off for the most part when World War Two is the setting. Um, so the fact that I did enjoy this at all, despite its it is the, the, the trigger, probably the... <laughs> the best thing I can say about it. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, Hitler. Okay, World War Two. I will say, like during the conversation, like during like the descri- like uh, like the writing of it, like and going through, we actually kind of get a glimpse of like probably how Hitler saw himself and like saw the situation, or at least like what you'd expect, like a good leader or like a a leader who's about to fall kind of feel. Yeah. So like he kind of like I don't want to say he made him sympathetic because I mean Hitler's a fucking douchebag. Like uh, yeah. the worse than his <laughs> thriller is worse than Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he's one of history's biggest ass ha- assholes. Exactly. Um, yeah. I mean, and like you know, I was actually arguably the worst. There, there's certainly an argument for him to be the history's worst asshole. But uh, anyone, no one can disagree that he was one of the yeah, history's exactly. worst assholes. But, um, uh, yeah, and that was the other thing. Is like okay, so so we're gonna watch like Hitler get killed and like Slenderman watch like observe the proceedings but then it like hands like takes away his gun takes away his cyanide pill it's like you are the messiah so it's like well okay Slender Man is a evil dude too so like that kind of makes sense it was just kind of like so we're going to be either going into a uh, an alternate history story now where Hitler survived or Hitler got gunned down <laughs> but, yeah. or Slendy our, our good friend Slendy the Slender mm-hmm. he uh, takes Hitler to meet <laughs> the big boss the, the head honcho and you know now Hitler is, for lack of a better term, employed by the next the other man's boss. Yeah, which and, I'm kind of terrified. <laughs> like, right? who the hell is Slenderman's boss? <laughs> exactly. That's like for me. That's kind of. Um, I mean, I'm a huge um, Hellraiser fan. Yeah. So that that's totally a you know a Doctor Shenard from Hellraiser two kind of situation to me. Yeah, and. I yeah, I can see I that. Read that story. Yeah, I like. I think I, that would be good. So, like, again, like, if anybody knows if this is actually based off of 
a bigger story or like another novel, like I'd actually wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't mind checking that out if we can find that novel. Like if this is actually a pro, like a just like an excerpt from that story, because that's kind of what. It felt or even like. if it's just another creepypasta. Yeah, that too. Like, because again, like I thought, like by going onto the that guy, the per- the author's name, I could actually find their account. If there isn't check it, more no. to this story, there should be. Yes, that's. Really. Because it was unexpected what happened, but you kind of want to know what comes next. But <laughs> it leads to a bunch of doors yeah. that, like, any one of them could be a good story. I mean, obviously it depends on who the fuck writes it, because... <laughs> As the show has shown It's really times. easy to get bitten in the ass by a good idea written by a shitty author. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Yeah, there, there's, there's something more past the end of this story. Yeah, and, and I would like want to read it. it. <laughs> we would like to read that. Um, shit, so I guess that's... Is that it for these two? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, there's not really... We got, like, one that was... Very, they were both really short. One that was uh, simple writing, but kind of passable to a degree. One that is really well written, I thought, anyways. Like, really captured, like, the narrative that was going on. Um, but is again short but fails because or has a has the short well, ending. So I'm like, not gonna say it fails. Um, no, no, sorry, yeah, no, I didn't mean that. It, I mean, it's, like, it falls it's short. A good. It has it like it, it's a self-contained thing. I just want more to be after. I want yeah. a sequel. Exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> Despite the fact that we know what happens when sequels happen. <laughs> well, I think there's some good. You know sequels. what? Skyrim, so, Skyrim Secrets Two wasn't. Entirely, it was. It was. Was it? Was it better than Skyrim Secrets? I. Uh, you're, you're asking me <laughs> to pick between shitty oranges and shitty apples. Fair. fair. <laughs> Heck, I wasn't even on that show, or was I? Anyway, um, uh, it's um, yeah. like yeah. Uh, I think it, if it was done by someone who has, you know. Preferably the same guy. Yeah, because he right, could he, be. A, I he, think it could be a good story. Yeah, because he does paint a really good picture with words in this one. To take your words, <laughs> granted, it's a bland bunker, but <laughs> oh. I mean, like, yeah, like the atmosphere, <laughs> the tension in the air, kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I guess recommendations. Um, f- follow the leader. I would not. I wouldn't recommend the writing, like, the, like reading the actual like story. But I would recommend going to a Master Creep Theater and checking out the reading. It's like four to five minutes long. It's it's and it's just really good, like production wise. Um, and it actually turns this otherwise mediocre story into a decent like four hour or four, four hour. <laughs> wow, into a four minute um, bit of entertainment. Um, and honestly, the same thing goes for. Um, uh, Goter Dummerong. Um, sorry, Germans. Um, I would actually recommend reading this one because it was really fun to read. Um, despite, like, the, okay, oh, Hitler? All right. Um, but also check out Mr. Creepypasta's reading of it because it was actually pretty good, too. So that's my recommendations. Um, I can't in good conscience recommend Follow the Leader. Um, just, I can't. There's, there's no two ways about it. Um... I, I, I actually kind of like the idea. Um, so, really, I suppose the only way I would recommend anyone reading it is if they want to rewrite it and hit us up with that. Yes. Because I could totally get behind that. Otherwise, it's not worth your time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, listeners, if, if any of you out there in Internet land would like to do that, send us an email. Um, but um, German Slenderman, because I'm not going to try and wrap my... Yeah, mouth around that word, um, just because Twilight of the Gods. <laughs> yeah, it's just not gonna work out for me. Um, I, yeah, I, I also would recommend reading it just because there, there's there's spin-off potential. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and we want that spin-off potential. Yeah, like I was actually kind of surprised this week because like I was like I had chosen these ones because uh, like this one uh, the Fall Leader had the, had the image that was tied to Slenderman's original story and then we had another it was another German Slenderman story but I was not expecting them to be as good at least one of them to be as good as it, as it was and then I was not expecting a reading of one to actually win me over completely for like just listening to that yeah I I didn't out and out hate either of these like I genuinely liked um the German Slenderman one and I genuinely liked the idea just wasn't a fan of the execution yeah. of Follow the Leader which 
Yeah, normally that would make me very angry, but this time it didn't, mm-hmm. and I'm a little, a little concerned. <laughs> You're getting uh, lenient in your old way, in your old days. <laughs> that but yeah, can't like, be good. We, and like, I actually going to have to rejuvenate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really a type lord? <laughs> no, or sorry, no. Lazarus Pit, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, that's not what I call them, because there's a copyright, but... <laughs> ah, right, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I would definitely... Also, I don't believe in Lazarus. Oh, um, <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> the Leviathan Pit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... It's more of a pool. <laughs> the Leviathan Pool. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was actually surprised, because I was reading, I was like, oh, this isn't really good. Like, not at all. Like, I mean, again, the grand, like, the concept's kind of interesting, but no. And I was actually, like, finding myself, like, picking at it. Like, I think I we can't... actually are in perfect agreement this time. I think that's what's fucked up. Yeah, that, that's what's weird. Like, we don't have... It's because we don't have Mikey to uh, counteract it to the, to anybody right now. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, to any of you listeners who are expecting us to, like, just tirade or lose it on each other, as we tend to do, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. It is what it is. Um, I'm, I'm going to blame the effects of Slender Man. Yeah, clearly. He's affecting our behavior, just not in the way he normally affects everyone else's behavior. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is, that our, is that his effect of the sickness on us? <laughs> just, we become complacent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, uh, yeah, we recommend... For the most part, uh, these two micropastas. Um, well, no, we don't recommend them. We don't you recommend, recommend the list. I recommend. Yeah, I definitely recommend. I this. skipped because I, I've yet to listen to a reading of a creepy pasta. Um, but yeah, so I didn't do that, so I can't make that recommendation. Fair. Yeah. However, I recommend someone reads it and then and rewrite rewrites it. it. <laughs> well, we do have a couple of listeners who have actually sent us emails, ask or like asking if we have any stories that we'd like rewritten so that we can. Like, in a better way. So, may have to look one of those guys up. <laughs> or gals. Um, but regardless. Uh, so, yeah, this has been this week's episode of Slender Month uh, 2016. We're halfway through, folks. Yeah. Well, we've gotten two good, like, two decent ep- two decent episodes with, like, stories that were good. This bolds ill, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've actually already experienced what we're doing next week. It's not going to go yeah. well. <laughs> All right, so uh, wait in in anticipation and dread, children. (laughs) Um, If you like, sorry for being boring this week, but we're not going to be be next week. (laughs) Uh, And we'll have actually a surprise guest that's not on the show as often. Um, So until so. if you like what you heard, if you didn't, you can leave us a comment in the comment section below. Um, Also, if you'd like to, you know, let us know who. uh, who the ri- actual writer is of um, Gutter Demering, um, and uh, if it has another has a f- larger story, or if you'd like to write that story. Um, oh, uh, you can also leave an, uh, a, a review on iTunes. Um, that would be awesome. You can send us uh, tweets at Twitter, uh, Dr. Leviathan and Review Cultist, and uh, you can send us an email at aldenterigamortis at gmail.com. That's A-L-D-E-N-T-E-R-I-G-A-M-O-R-T-I-S at gmail.com, where you can also send us suggestions for other creepypastas you'd like us to discuss on the show. Uh, and if you'd like, you can uh, show us some support and donate. Go to crazonstudios.tumblr.com, where you can check out all the title cards for each episode. And on the side, there's a little donate button. So, until next time, I have been your host, Review Cultist. I'm still Dr. Leviathan, and I guess on behalf of the missing Mikey, the E stands for evil. This has been Aldente Rigamortis uh, for Slender Month 2016. Sleep Woo, well. Slender Month! Woo! <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> Slender Man, Slender Man, all the children try to run. Slender Man, Slender Man, to him.
Causes, um, because I mean it's a fucking basic website. Yeah, yeah. I think it's mainly all the ads they throw on there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which one are we doing first? I will do follow the leader, okay. and then go to Demerin. Makes sense that we do follow the leader first, because then Gutenberg and Gutenberg here Gutenberg, yeah. can <laughs> can follow the leader. But um. Yeah. 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 